oh it's already october and i hate to spoil the mood but i'm not reading anything spooky this month i've been so much obsessed with nlp i want to maintain the momentum so without further ado let's dive right away with my october tbr So if you're wondering what's TBR, TBR means to be read. October TBR means to be read books this October. Recently, I've been reading NLP, The Essential Guide to Neurolinguistic Programming, and I'm loving this book and it's good for beginners. I get it. That's why they have this essential guide. I'm almost halfway and basically this book will tell you how to implement NLP techniques in your life. And then it will guide you to use these same techniques to other people. At the end of each chapter, there's an enrichment activity for you to try if you want to. Do that if you want to master NLP. So far, I've been loving this book and I cannot wait to finish it. Then basically, I will just reread three of my another NLP books. NLP is so good for me. I mean, not everyone is the same. But you know, it helps me to persevere in my life and know myself even more. So yeah, I will definitely reread Oh, the NLP diet. It's so small and thin and I think I can finish this in one or two sitting. But you know, it's not the face. It's about how a diet book will help you to stay fit and slim. <laughs> this book of course teaches you how to reach your body goal in an NLP way. This book is divided into 10 parts which provided simple techniques to be what you want to become in life. So an example if is you're a visual person, you need to visualize your ideal body. How would you look like when you have reached your body goal? If you're an auditory person, what would you hear when you reach your desire? How would people praise and compliment you and so on? Then there's, oh, this book is so good, really. <laughs> NLP for managers, how to achieve excellence at work personal effectiveness, communicating for results, goal setting, creative problem solving by Dr. Harry Alder, author of The Right Brain Manager and NLP, The New Art and Science of Getting What You Want. You know what? I really love this book because I'm currently enrolled at Masters of Arts in Education, majoring in Management. I could really use the practical side of NLP for managers but not in theory if you know what i mean this book will teach you how to treat people the way they wanted to be treated whether you're at the management level or at the middle level or at the lower level of management it's very common that people would argue about things and one of the major reasons is because they have conflicting personalities you know it's so common that people would think that people would want it to be treated the way you want it to be treated so you approach people the way you want it to be treated but you know i mean it's okay it's so good the reason is the reason is right or the end justifies the means but you know sometimes people would really want to hear someone but sometimes people would really love to feel someone or you know, people would love to see things in order to believe and each man to his own. A single approach would not fit everybody. That's why conflicts, arguments, and disagreements happen. So this book would teach you how to give people what they want and in return, you can get what you want too. The results will be amazing. You can never count the unnecessary conflicts and harmony. <laughs> And then for the hundredth time, I don't know how many times, but yes, I will reread this again. I have lost track of counting because sometimes I will just reread this halfway, sometimes not. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. It's phenomenal. I think I've been talking a lot about how good this book is so i won't say much this time but you know if you want to control and master your emotions for your ultimate success then that book is for you 
those are the four NLP books that I'm going to read this October. NLP, The Essential Guide to Neurolinguistic Programming. NLP Diet. What's the third one? Um, NLP for Managers. And then the last one would be Unlimited Power. Then I would proceed with Robert's Green Mastery and Robert's Green, The Laws of Human Nature. I have talked a lot about this in my other video, Mastered Self-Help Books. I have it linked below just in case you want to check it. So these are the six books that I would love to read this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're reading this month as I would love to hear it from you. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!